Well, just because I like learning about how this truck works and how things operate on it, I decided to investigate further into this fuel water separator heating element. So yeah, I took it back off. I had my um, power steering reservoir pulled out to replace these clamps on it because they were seeping some oil down there. And uh, I wanted to learn more about this heating element. So this plug for the heating element, whenever the main switch is on on the dash, has 24 volts. And right now, the heating element itself is open. Checking it with an ohm meter. I just brought the um, heating element and the ohm meter outside. Right now we're reading about 39 degrees, 40 degrees on what I think is the thermal switch there. And I'm thinking that we'll hear it snap right about 15 degrees on the snow there. Right about the freezing mark right now. I just heard it click. And there the ohm meter went to zero. So on the outside we're reading about 26, 27 degrees. You know, it probably takes a little time for the cold air to get inside the switch. Perfect. Let's hook it back up and see how long it takes to heat up. All right, we got it plugged back in. I'm gonna go hit the switch on the dash and I wanna time it just for the heck of it. See how long it takes to heat up. Okay, so right now, look at that, it warms right up fast. The elements, over a hundred. The switch is at about 60. 480 all right I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the switch off because I just there's no way it's gonna heat that switch up with the air in between that and the heating element so I'm gonna stick it back on the fuel water separator get some fuel in there and then we'll um See how long it takes to warm up the fuel. Now I have it all back together, heating element in there, plugged in, all primed. So it's surrounded in fuel. Now I'm gonna go hit the switch and see how it heats up. Okay, we're at 57. Locks 56 and a half. So once this hits 100, because I did this before and I know when it gets to 150, it's going to trip and go off and then it has to go back down below freezing to reset. So when this hits 100, I'm going to start the truck just to see how it changes with the fuel flowing through there. I might let it go a little over 100. Maybe we'll go up to 110. So two and a half minutes and it gets up to 110. I'm going to start the truck just to see how that changes. Shut the truck off. 
Then I also turned the switch back on just to see it climb again. Shut my main switch off. That was a good test. So, wow, now we know how that um, fuel uh, water separator heater works. And in the meantime, what I had to do, because I had taken my uh, I had taken my power steering reservoir off, put some new hose clamps on it, and the hoses just seemed so twisted. This pipe was sticking out this way. So I wanted to loosen that up there and turn it, and I couldn't get a wrench on because the fuel filter was in the way. So I had to take that fuel filter back off, loosen this, turn the pipe so it wasn't binding and the hoses weren't hitting together back here. Hopefully we don't have any more power steering leak. But there, hope you liked it. See you next time.